In this video, we'll look at a way to use a definite integral to represent the amount of oil that is leaking from an oil tanker. As you might have seen in a previous video, in 2005, Hurricanes Katrina and Rita struck the Gulf of Mexico, causing widespread damage. They caused the collapse of a pipeline service platform that was later struck by the DBL-152 tank barge, which capsized and began spilling oil into the Gulf waters. As they collect resources to start cleaning up the spill, scientists collect data. After two days have passed, the rate of oil leakage can be modeled using the formula R of t equals 12 times 4 to the negative t divided by 5, where t is measured in days since the initial spill, and R of t is in millions of gallons per day. The scientists want to predict how much oil will leak from the taker over the next 16 days so they can use their resources most efficiently. Let's think about this situation graphically. To approximate the total amount of oil that spills, we'll use a left Riemann sum. We're starting at day 2 and going up to day 18. First, we have to divide the 16 days into intervals. We'll start by using 8 intervals. Since we have 8 intervals and we're using a left sum, the bounds of the sum will be 0 and 7. Then, we need to find the rate of oil accumulation. We can take these rates from the start of each interval, and then what we do is assume that the rate stays constant for each interval, which will make our graph look like this. And then we know that we're using the rate of accumulation at the start of each interval. So to find the amount of oil that spills in each interval, we multiply the rate of accumulation in each interval by the amount of change in time of the interval. In this case, to find the amount of change in time of each interval, we take the total change in time, which is 18 minus 2, and divide by the number of intervals to give us 2 days for each interval. When we multiply the rate by the amount of change in time, our graph looks like this. So we know that to find the amount of oil that spills in the first interval, we multiply r of t sub 0 by delta t. And then we do this for each of the intervals, and then add all of these values up. We can see that the rate of accumulation at the start of each interval is larger than the rate for the rest of the interval, which means that the number we have computed is an overestimate of the actual amount of oil that is spilled. Let's think about how we can make this computation more precise. As we saw before, if instead of using 8 intervals, we increase this number, then we reduce the amount of error in the approximation. And we can think of this in terms of limits. We can compute the total amount of oil that spills if we look at the limit as n goes to infinity of the Riemann sum. To do this, we imagine the number of intervals getting larger and larger. As this happens, our Riemann sum uses more and more terms, so we write the sigma as an elongated s. We can't use k anymore because we're letting the number of intervals go to infinity, so we write 2 and 18 to show the times when we start and stop measuring the amount of oil. For each time, we're still computing the amount of oil lost by multiplying the rate by the amount of change in time, but we write dt instead of delta t to indicate that these amounts are infinitesimally small. This limit, which we call a definite integral, is another way of writing the total amount of oil that would spill if you added up the amounts of oil that accumulate over all of the infinitesimally narrow intervals between 2 and 18 days.